Data was recorded for 14 years, from 1977 to 1990, and each year, the number of powerboat registrations in thousands and the number of manatees killed by powerboats was recorded. Before we begin, what are the observational units? How about the explanatory variable? What is the response? The observational units here would be years, because that's what I'm collecting data from. The explanatory variable would be the number of powerboat registrations, and the number of powerboat registrations is supposed to be predicting the response or number of manatees killed by powerboats. You see the first three rows of the data in the table below. Here you see a scatter plot of our data with powerboat registrations, our x variable on the x-axis, and manatee deaths, the response variable, on the y-axis. How would you describe the form, strength, direction, and whether there are outliers or not for this scatter plot? We see a linear form, a positive direction, a fairly strong relationship, and no outliers. That being said, what would you guess for the correlation coefficient? Well, since the relationship is strong, positive, and linear, you should have guessed a correlation coefficient near 1. The calculated correlation coefficient is 0.943. We will not ask you to calculate correlation coefficient, but we could ask you to estimate it, in which case a number near 1 would have been the correct answer. How would you determine the coefficient of determination then? Well, remember, r squared is just the correlation coefficient squared, so 0.943 squared gives me 88.9%, or 0.889. Finally, we would not ask you to calculate the regression line, but we would give it to you as you see here. y hat is equal to negative 41.43 plus 0.12x, where y hat is manatee deaths estimated, and x is the number of powerboat registrations in thousands. Let's interpret that coefficient of determination, or r squared value of 0.889 or 88.9%. Pause the video, write your interpretation, then play to check that you were correct. Remember, the coefficient of determination is found by, or interpreted by, the percent of variation in the response variable, which is explained by changes in the explanatory. In this context, about 89% of the observed variation in manatee deaths can be accounted for by changes in the number of powerboat registrations. Now let's interpret each of those values in our regression line, starting with the y-intercept. Again, pause the video, then play for the answer. The y-intercept is the estimated y-value when x is zero. In this context, if a year has zero powerboat registrations, we would estimate about negative 41 manatee deaths. Does this prediction make sense? Are we putting manatees back in the ocean? Of course not. This is not a valid prediction because the number of powerboat registrations in our data only range from 450,000 to 700,000. So predicting for x is zero is extrapolating, or again, by definition, predicting a value of the response for an x value outside the range of our data set. Remember, the slope of the line is interpreted as a one unit increase in x is associated with a slope increase decrease depending on the sign change in y. In this context, for every additional 1000 powerboat registrations, remember powerboat registrations were measured in thousands, so a one unit increase would be 1,000 more powerboat registrations. We estimate the average number of manatee deaths would increase, because the slope is positive, by 0.12. Another way of saying that is for every additional 8,000 powerboat registrations, we predict approximately 1.12 times 8 additional manatee deaths. Now let's use the line to make predictions. 
what if there were 500,000 power boat registrations, or x is equal to 500? Then we can plug 500 into our equation, and we get y hat is equal to 18.57. How would we interpret that value? We would say an estimate of the average number of manatee deaths across all years with 500,000 powerboat registrations is about 18.57 deaths. Another way of interpreting that is a prediction for the number of manatee deaths in one particular year with 500,000 powerboat registrations is 18.57 deaths. Let's discuss residuals a bit more which remember are the vertical distance from an observed point to the regression line. Here, we see each of the residuals for every data point marked as a dashed line on the scatter plot. Let's look at the dot indicated in red. The observed value of that dot is 526.15, or in a year with 526,000 powerboat registrations, there were 15 manatee deaths by powerboat. The observed response value, or the observed y value, is 15. I can calculate the predicted response by plugging 526 into my regression equation, and then find the residual by taking the observed value, 15, minus the predicted value, 24.3, and I get negative 9.3 deaths. Remember, the residual is a vertical distance, so the unit of the residual is the same as the unit in y. Also note that the residual is negative. This is because the observed value is below the regression line. Let's go through that same process for the blue dot. The observed value is 559 and 34, so the observed response is 34. The predicted response is calculated by plugging the x value, 559, into the equation. And then we can see the residual would be the observed y value minus the predicted y value, giving 5.6 deaths. And again, we see a positive residual because the observed point is above the regression line.